Hi everyone, I'm George Fontaine and I'm an architect. Today I want to talk about floor area ratio. This is a basic zoning concept that you're going to need to know if you're ever going to be uh, looking into the zoning on a property, which uh, zoning is the set of rules that are going to determine what you can build on a property. Okay, Floor area ratio, uh, also known as FAR, is one of the basic premises of zoning. Okay. Um, first thing I really want to tell everyone is this is pronounced F-A-R, not FAR. Okay, professionals always say F-A-R. Um, everybody at City Planning at the Department of Buildings Architects, okay? Um, so F-A-R, not FAR. All right, so what is floor area? It's uh, a proportion that determines how many square footage a building can be. All right, so you take the lot area multiplied by the F-A-R, equals your buildable square footage, okay? The buildable square footage is also referred to as your development rights. Development rights is a broad term that uh, is to say your legal right to develop a property, okay? And the magnitude to which you can develop, all right? So this is also sometimes referred to as air rights. Air rights is a pretty general term that people use. Um, sometimes people use it to mean different ways, but it basically means what you can build is your air rights, okay? Um, these things can be sold to neighboring properties or they can be built on your own property. So let's just run through an example here, okay? Let's say you have a lot area that's 50 by 100. I'm in New York City, most common lot size here is 25 by 100, so maybe you have two, two lots or a double-sized lot. Okay, that gives you 50 by 100, that's 5,000 square feet, okay? Now the zoning, based on your zoning district, will give you an FAR, okay? So we'll look at two examples. So if I was in New York and I've got an FAR of one, that means I take 5,000 square feet, multiply it by one, and I get 5,000. So what does that mean? That means I can build a 5,000 square foot building, okay? So you can do a one-story building at 5,000 square feet, you could do a two-story building at 2,500 square feet, but the maximum square footage for the building is 5,000 square feet, okay? Uh, if you have an FAR of 2.2, if you're an R6 in New York City, okay, it's 5,000 square feet, that's the lot area, multiplied by 2.2, the FAR, that gives us 11,000, okay? Once again, I can do maybe a three-story building at 3,667 square feet per floor, or I can do a six-story building at 1,833 square feet per floor. But either way, all right, the whole building adds up to 11,000 square feet. That's the zoning square footage, all right? The last example will be an FAR of 10. Okay, let's say you're an R10 in New York City. All right, that's uh, 5,000 square feet times 10, 50,000 square feet, which results in a building of 50,000 square feet. So that's 10 stories at 5,000 square feet per floor. 20 stories at 2,500 square feet per floor, okay? And that's basically uh, how you determine the size of the building with regards to square footage. Now, there's lots of other zoning codes to take into consideration. I always tell people zoning is a balancing act, okay? You have a lot of codes that have to be in equilibrium in order to determine what you can build. So it's not just your floor area ratio. This is one of the most important basic concepts that you need to know. And generally, when we look at a a new property development, we start with the floor area ratio first. That's usually the first thing we look at, but there's a million other things. There's height restrictions, setback restrictions, yard restrictions, uh, you know, all sorts of uh, lot coverage, uh, all sorts of different things that are going to affect the actual size and shape of a building. But with this uh, basic formula, you can determine and, and, and understand uh, the actual size uh, the building will be as far as square footage goes. If you have any other suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, hit subscribe. Thank you.